Hello and welcome. This is Abigail Perillo from the Chess Program Development Team. We would like to thank you for listening in on this chess webinar, The Importance of Herd Immunity. We would also like to thank Sanofi Pasteur for making this webinar possible. Today we, we will discuss why the flu vaccination protects more than just yourself, how early on the flu can be passed to others, and how the flu can affect high-risk individuals. I will now turn the presentation over to Ms. Young. Hi, my name is Corinne Young. I'm a nurse practitioner working in pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine for the last 15 years, and I will be with you today talking about the flu. So when you get vaccinated for the flu, we commonly think about doing it for ourselves. We are trying to protect ourselves from becoming sick, losing work time, or just having to deal with the burden of being ill ourselves. But really, the, the thing that you can do for your community and help others is actually to vaccinate yourself. There are people who cannot receive the flu vaccine because either they're too young, for example, children under the age of six months are too young to receive the flu vaccine. There are people who have allergies to the vaccine and can't receive it. And there are others who, for other health conditions, may even get the flu vaccine, but are still at very high risk for contracting it. So when you're able to vaccinate yourself, you do help prevent the spread of flu to this population as well. Some people will think, well, if I don't get the flu vaccine, I know I could get sick and pass it to others, but if I feel like I'm getting ill, I'll just avoid spreading it to other people by maybe quarantining myself at home. Um, I know my mother has COPD or asthma. I know she could get very sick from the flu, so I just won't visit her if I'm not feeling well. The problem with that theory is that the flu virus can be contagious in people one to two days before they ever feel ill. So unfortunately, although you may have the best intentions, you could still be spreading this virus to people even though you're not feeling sick yourself. So again, if you're to vaccinate yourself, not only do you help yourself from preventing get the flu and protect these vulnerable populations, but you also help inadvertently spreading it to people. Unfortunately, 20 to 50,000 Americans die every year of the flu. Unfortunately, these high-risk populations such as children, the elderly, adults with chronic conditions, specifically asthma or COPD, and those um, that develop unfortunate complications related to the flu like pneumonia, are at the highest risk of dying. Again, to protect this population and yourself from developing complications of the flu or uh, increased risk of mortality from the flu, we do highly advise that you receive your flu vaccine. All right, thank you, Ms. Young, for a great presentation and thank you all for attending the webinar.